the learning never stops. It never does. It never does. And that's so annoying compared to other stuff. The learning never stops. You are the type of person that just wants to end their learning process after college. But well, you chose the wrong major. But guess what? We're on the same boat. <laughs> but it's not funny. It's not funny. You'll be learning things while you're 40 or 50. You will constantly feel like you're behind. There's a lot of these coding languages. There's a lot of these math that you need to learn. I'm so behind. Da 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 da. Well, guess what? Everyone feels like they're behind. The senior software engineers feel like they're behind. Me making this video now, some kid in Asia is probably coming up with new things that you're going to have to learn in the next three, four years. I'm going to just save you time. If you're not really good at math, if you don't like math, and you're just studying software engineering or computer science because it's trendy, so let me just save you time, money, energy, and disappointment. I've been studying software engineering for two years now. This is my second year of uh, studying software engineering. And here are some things I wish I knew before I started studying. <laughs> Let's get into it. This video might save you time and money and frustrations and disappointment and all of that stuff. I'm going to tell you now, I'm going to tell you today things I wish I knew before studying software engineering. And while we're at it, please let me know, are you studying software engineering? Are you thinking of studying software engineering? Or are you studying something else? Let me know in the comment section down below. The first thing I wish I knew studying software engineering was it's just not coding. It's only not coding. There's a lot more into it, studying software engineering, than just coding. Maybe I was just delusional. I just thought mainly it was going to be coding. But it's just not coding, baby. It's just not coding. There's a lot more to it. There's there's um a lot of math involved. There is um a lot of a lot of collaboration involved. My idea of studying software engineering, or at least working in in the field of software engineering, was you know a little bit of nerdy, antisocial. You can just do your work. Uh, be really good at coding, and that's about it. That's all you need to know. But it's complete the opposite. There's a lot of math involved. You have to take calculus, of course. That's common sense i know differential equation and what else calculus one two three linear algebra there's a lot of fucking math involved there's a lot of math involved so if you didn't know that i'm gonna just save you time if you're not really good at math if you don't like math and you're just studying software engineering or computer science because it's trendy keep that in mind keep that in mind there's a lot of math involved please keep that in mind so let me just save you time money energy and disappointment there's a lot of math involved Secondly, if you're a nerd, if you're antisocial, if you think you studying software engineering could keep humans away, you're damn wrong. There's always going to be humans sniffing down on your neck. You have to collaborate. You have to come up with projects. You have to work with people. Even in the workspace, you have to work with people. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, okay? And also, working and studying in this field, you will constantly feel like you're behind. That is one thing you just have to deal with. If you're the type of person that doesn't feel, that doesn't want, that doesn't like the feeling of feeling that they don't know nothing, like the imposter syndrome. If you're, if you're those type of people that don't like feeling that they're behind on things, don't study this because you're going to feel that you're behind on everything. You learn one thing now, two months from now, a year from now is a completely different thing. You don't need to learn that no more. AI is going to do that. That's, that's, that's nothing. Learn this, learn that. You will feel like you're constantly behind. Some people, it kind of ruins them. So just keep that in mind. There's one of those things I wish I knew. And being the second year of software engineering, if I learned anything from the first year was, I felt like I was way behind. I felt like I, I, felt, like I, I felt the imposter syndrome. I was like, damn, you're, gonna, you're studying software engineering. There's a lot of these coding languages. There's a lot of these math that you need to learn. I'm so behind. Da, 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 da. Well, guess what? Everyone feels like they're behind. The senior software engineers feel like they're behind. This is how it just works. This is the fast, rapid growing industry. You're always going to feel like you're behind. Me making this video now, some kid in Asia is probably coming up with new things that you're going to have to learn in the next three, four years. So it's fine. It's fine. Stop having this. You, you, I have to know everything. I have to, I have to be really good at no no this is a big industry focus on one thing do it and be okay with feeling like you're behind because you're gonna be even with work or studying 
you're always going to feel like you're behind. Okay, we got that. Okay, let's move on. Number three is, before learning software engineering, understand the reason that you're going for software engineering. There's nothing wrong with just doing it for the sake of money, okay, or doing it for the sake of having a better degree. Me, personally, I was a lot more interested and passionate about digital marketing, but I ended up doing software engineering. Why? Because in my mind, I'm going to have to pay the same tuition. I'm going to have to spend the same amount of time in uni, about four years, four years, and at the end of it, either I will have a digital marketing degree or a software engineering degree, an engineering degree, an engineering degree. Think about it. I was like, you know what? I'm spending the same time, the same money. Um, at the end of the four years, no one's going to care what I've been through. Are you either going to have digital marketing or a software engineering degree? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with the engineering degree because I want to be known as engineer Bedruddin. That, that, that was my thought process. But for you, it could be different. And who says if I finish my software engineering degree now, I can't go and just work in digital marketing. College is a path that you're going to have to go through regardless. Whether you're doing digital marketing, whether you're doing business, whether you're doing flipping medicine, uh, that's a bit different. But regardless of what you're going through, it's the same time. It's not the same time. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Medicine is like 5, 10 years. But you get my point. If you're spending the same time and an effort and money, uh, maybe it's different in other countries, but Turkey, especially the uni that I go to now, it's the same year. It's a fixed price, either if you're studying business or if you're studying an engineering degree. So I thought, you know, make use of your money because I pay for my own uni. Okay, if you want to support me, please just join my membership, which is not even active now. Please just join, you know, it's $1 a month. Please support me, pay my uni. Anyways. You need to know that as well. You need to know that. Not those type of people that would say, chase your passion, da 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 da. If you're doing software engineering for the sake of money, please do it, okay? You're a hundred percent, you have a hundred percent valid reason if you're just doing it for the sake of money. Or if you're just doing it for the sake of having a better degree and better options later on down the line, that's why I chose. Do you think, do you think this nerd that does YouTube videos likes flipping math and engineering? No. I'm spending the same time, the same money, and the same amount of time. I might as well be called Engineer Badruddin. Yes. I don't know where I was going with that. But I'm saying there's nothing wrong with you studying software engineering for the sake of money. But just know there's a lot of things involved. And you have to do a certain amount of work, of course. You have to study. You have to pass your math test. You have to do this. You have to do that. And okay, one of the other things that just came to mind now, one of the other things is, oh, damn, I forgot. Oh, one of the other things is constantly learning. You have to constantly learn while you're in, while you're in this industry of software engineering. It's not just one time thing. Okay, I'm gonna study this. I'm gonna leave. No, even after you graduate, even after you have that degree, a software engineering degree, guess what? The learning never stops. It never does. It never does. And that's so annoying compared to other uh, businesses, compared to other stuff. The learning never stops. You could be 10 years from now and you're learning new language or the new new this or new that, a new algorithm. You're just constantly learning something. If you are the type of person that just wants to end their learning process after college, well, you chose the wrong major. But guess what? We're on the same boat. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. You'd be learning things while you're 40 or 50, which is depressing in my opinion. But if you don't like that, to something else. If you already chose software engineering, finish that and do other things. And plus, software engineering, the pay and all the perks that came with software engineering doesn't exist no more. It's not the COVID time. I feel like software engineering or computer science was the peak in 2020. Now, the perks doesn't exist. The pay is l way lower than it used to be. Digital marketing can make you a lot of money, almost the same money as software engineering. Almost, but software engineering is a little bit higher, but it comes with less stress. Uh, you don't have to constantly learn. You don't have to feel like you're way behind all the time. Keeping that in mind, just know the perks are kind of over. It might spike up somewhere down the line in 2030. But the perks of you studying software engineering, like the, the remote work, which you can do with other uh, careers. It's not just software engineering and tech. There's a lot of other careers that you can do with uh, remote and high pay. So if you're just doing that for the sake of doing that, I feel like... Uh, I feel like you're, you're, you, it's, it's the wrong time now. Maybe down the line in the future, in 2030. Yes, but now all of that is finished. What has them? Where the mafia? Ask you, darling. For none of my Somali speakers, I'm just saying 
is finished. It is finished. Don't waste your time on it. But anyways, yes, yeah, keep that in mind too. I'm just letting my heart out now. But if you're studying like I am for the good degree and more opportunities down the line, please do so. And keep in mind, you're not forced to work in software just because you study software engineering or computer science. You can go to different di digital, di any other stuff like digital marketing. If I could go back, would I choose the same major? Hell yeah, I would literally choose the same major over and over again. And my situation might be different for you. I'm paying the same money the same time. I might as well study something higher. I don't want to pussy out and study some lame ass degree like business and software engine, <laughs> like business, not software engineering, but other things. I don't want to, I'm spending the same money. Okay. Yes. And I'm paying for my own uni. I don't have the leverage. I have no parents got that paying for my uni. You, you, you can pay for my uni. Please join us in membership. I love you. And thank you for joining. Thank you for being here. Bye.